Liechtenstein, listen, Liechtenstein, German, Chunchen, Tan, officially the Principality of Liechtenstein, German, Fürstentum Liechtenstein, is a doubly landlocked German speaking microstate in Central Europe. The Principality is a constitutional monarchy headed by the Prince of Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is bordered by Switzerland to the west and south and Austria to the east and north. It has an area of just over 160 square kilometers, 62 square miles, the fourth smallest country in Europe and has a population of 37,877. Divided into 11 municipalities, its capital is Vaduz and its largest municipality is Schaan. It is also the smallest country to border two countries. Economically, Liechtenstein has one of the highest gross domestic products per person in the world when adjusted for purchasing power parity. Liechtenstein has been known in the past as a billionaire tax haven, however, it is no longer on any blacklists of in-cooperative tax haven countries see taxation section. An alpine country, Liechtenstein is mainly mountainous, making it a winter sport destination. The country has a strong financial sector centered in Vaduz. Almost 20,000 people commute to work in Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is a member of the United Nations, the European Free Trade Association, and the Council of Europe, and although not a member of the European Union, the country participates in both the Schengen Area and the European Economic Area. It also has a customs union and a monetary union with Switzerland. History Early history The oldest traces of human existence in what is now Liechtenstein date back to the Middle Paleolithic era. Neolithic farming settlements were initially founded in the valleys around 5300 BCE. The Hallstatt and La Tène cultures flourished during the Late Iron Age, from around 450 BCE—possibly under some influence of both the Greek and Etruscan civilizations. One of the most important tribal groups in the Alpine region were the Helvetii. In 58 BCE, at the Battle of Bibract, Julius Caesar defeated the Alpine tribes, therefore bringing the region under close control of the Roman Republic. By 15 BCE, Tiberius—destined to be the second Roman emperor—with his brother, Drusus, conquered the entirety of the Alpine area. Liechtenstein was then integrated into the Roman province of Raetia. The area was maintained by the Roman military, who also maintained large legionary camps at Brigantium Austria, near Lake Constance, and at Magia Swiss. A Roman road which ran through the territory was also created and maintained by these groups. In 259 60ths Brigantium was destroyed by the Alemanni, a Germanic people who settled in the area in around 450 CE. In the early Middle Ages, the Alemanni settled the eastern Swiss plateau by the 5th century and the valleys of the Alps by the end of the 8th century, with Liechtenstein located at the eastern edge of Alemannia. In the 6th century, the entire region became part of the Frankish Empire following Clovis I's victory over the Alemanni at Tolbiac in 504. The area that later became Liechtenstein remained under Frankish hegemony Merovingian and Carolingian dynasties, until the empire was divided by the Treaty of Verdun in 843 CE, following the death of Charlemagne. The territory of present day Liechtenstein was under the possession of East Francia. It would later be reunified with Middle Francia under the Holy Roman Empire, around 1000 CE. Until about 1100, the predominant language of the area was Romanche, but thereafter German began to gain ground in the territory. In 1300, an Alemannic population—the Walsers, who originated in Valais—entered the region and settled. The mountain village of Treisenberg still preserves features of Walser dialect into the present century. Topic. Foundation of a dynasty By 1200, dominions across the Alpine plateau were controlled by the houses of Savoy, Zaringer, Habsburg, and Kyberg. Other regions were accorded the imperial immediacy that granted the empire direct control over the mountain passes. When the Kyberg dynasty fell in 1264, the Habsburgs under King Rudolf I Holy Roman Emperor in 1273 extended their territory to the eastern Alpine plateau that included the territory of Liechtenstein. This region was in theft to the Counts of Hohenems until the sale to the Liechtenstein dynasty in 1699. 
In 1396 Vaduz was raised to the status of imperial immediacy and as such made subject to the Holy Roman Emperor alone. The family, from which the principality takes its name, originally came from Liechtenstein Castle in Lower Austria which they had possessed from at least 1140 until the 13th century and again from 1807 onwards. The Liechtensteins acquired land, predominantly in Moravia, Lower Austria, Silesia, and Styria. As these territories were all held in feudal tenure from more senior feudal lords, particularly various branches of the Habsburgs, the Liechtenstein dynasty was unable to meet a primary requirement to qualify for a seat in the imperial diet parliament, the Reichstag. Even though several Liechtenstein princes served several Habsburg rulers as close advisors, without any territory held directly from the imperial throne, they held little power in the Holy Roman Empire. For this reason, the family sought to acquire lands that would be classed as unmittelbar immediate or held without any intermediate feudal tenure, directly from the Holy Roman Emperor. During the early 17th century Karl I of Liechtenstein was made a first prince by the Holy Roman Emperor Matthias after siding with him in a political battle. Hans Adam I was allowed to purchase the minuscule Herrschaft Lordship of Schellenberg and County of Vaduz in 1699 and 1712 respectively from the Hohenems. Tiny Schellenberg and Vaduz had exactly the political status required, no feudal lord other than their comital sovereign and the suzerain emperor. Principality On 23 January 1719, after the lands had been purchased, Charles VI, Holy Roman Emperor, decreed that Vaduz and Schellenberg were united and elevated the newly formed territory to the dignity of Firstentum principality with the name Liechtenstein, in honor of his true servant, Anton Florian of Liechtenstein. It was on this date that Liechtenstein became a sovereign member state of the Holy Roman Empire. It is a testament to the pure political expediency of the purchase that the princes of Liechtenstein never visited their new principality for almost 100 years. By the early 19th century, as a result of the Napoleonic Wars in Europe, the Holy Roman Empire came under the effective control of France, following the crushing defeat at Austerlitz by Napoleon in 1805. Emperor Francis II abdicated, ending more than 960 years of feudal government. Napoleon reorganized much of the empire into the Confederation of the Rhine. This political restructuring had broad consequences for Liechtenstein, the historical imperial, legal, and political institutions had been dissolved. The state ceased to owe an obligation to any feudal lord beyond its borders. Modern publications generally attribute Liechtenstein's sovereignty to these events. Its prince ceased to owe an obligation to any suzerain. From 25 July 1806, when the Confederation of the Rhine was founded, the Prince of Liechtenstein was a member, in fact, a vassal, of its hegemon, styled protector, the French Emperor Napoleon I, until the dissolution of the Confederation on 19 October 1813. Soon afterward, Liechtenstein joined the German Confederation, the 20th of June 1815 to the 24th of August 1866, which was presided over by the Emperor of Austria. In 1818, Prince Johann I granted the territory a limited constitution. In that same year, Prince Alois became the first member of the House of Liechtenstein to set foot in the principality that bore their name. The next visit would not occur until 1842. Developments during the 19th century included 1836, the first factory, for making ceramics, was opened 1861, the Savings and Loans Bank was founded along with the first cotton weaving mill 1868, the Liechtenstein army was disbanded for financial reasons 1872, a railway line between Switzerland and the Austro-Hungarian Empire was constructed through Liechtenstein 1886, two bridges over the Rhine to Switzerland were built. Topic: 20th century. Until the end of World War I, Liechtenstein was closely tied first to the Austrian Empire and later to Austria-Hungary. The ruling princes continued to derive much of their wealth from estates in the Habsburg territories, and they spent much of their time at their two palaces in Vienna. The economic devastation caused by this war forced the country to conclude a customs and monetary union with its other neighbor, Switzerland. 
At the time of the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, it was argued that Liechtenstein, as a fief of the Holy Roman Empire, was no longer bound to the emerging independent state of Austria, since the latter did not consider itself as the legal successor to the empire. This is partly contradicted by the Liechtenstein perception that the dethroned Austro-Hungarian Emperor still maintained an abstract heritage of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1929, 75-year-old Prince Franz I succeeded to the throne. Franz had just married Elisabeth von Gutmann, a wealthy woman from Vienna whose father was a Jewish businessman from Moravia. Although Liechtenstein had no official Nazi party, a Nazi sympathy movement arose within its National Union Party. Local Liechtenstein Nazis identified Elisabeth as their Jewish problem. In March 1938, just after the annexation of Austria by Nazi Germany, Prince Franz named as regent his 31-year-old grandnephew and heir presumptive, Prince Franz Joseph. Franz died in July that year, and Franz Joseph succeeded to the throne. Franz Joseph II first moved to Liechtenstein in 1938, a few days after Austria's annexation. During World War II, Liechtenstein remained officially neutral, looking to neighboring Switzerland for assistance and guidance, while family treasures from dynastic lands and possessions in Bohemia, Moravia, and Silesia were taken to Liechtenstein for safekeeping. At the close of the conflict, Czechoslovakia and Poland, acting to seize what they considered to be German possessions, expropriated the entirety of the Liechtenstein dynasty's properties in those three regions. The expropriations subject to modern legal dispute at the International Court of Justice included over 1,600 square kilometers 618 square miles of agricultural and forest land most notably the UNESCO-listed Lednice Valtice cultural landscape, and several family castles and palaces. In 2005 it was revealed that Jewish laborers from the Strasshof concentration camp, provided by the SS, had worked on estates in Austria owned by Liechtenstein's princely house. Citizens of Liechtenstein were forbidden to enter Czechoslovakia during the Cold War. More recently the diplomatic conflict revolving around the controversial post-war Benes decrees resulted in Liechtenstein not sharing international relations with the Czech Republic or Slovakia. Diplomatic relations were established between Liechtenstein and the Czech Republic on 13 July 2009, and with Slovakia on 9 December 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Financial center Liechtenstein was in dire financial straits following the end of the war in Europe. The Liechtenstein dynasty often resorted to selling family artistic treasures, including the portrait Ginevra de Benci by Leonardo da Vinci, which was purchased by the National Gallery of Art of the United States in 1967 for $5 million $37 million in 2017 dollars, then a record price for a painting. However, by the late 1970s, it used its low corporate tax rates to draw many companies to the country, becoming one of the wealthiest countries in the world. As of September 2008 the Prince of Liechtenstein is the world's eighth wealthiest monarch with an estimated wealth of $3.5 billion. The country's population enjoys one of the world's highest standards of living. <laughs> <laughs> Government Liechtenstein has a constitutional monarch as head of state, and an elected parliament which enacts the law. It is also a direct democracy, where voters can propose and enact constitutional amendments and legislation independent of the legislature. The Constitution of Liechtenstein was adopted in March 2003, replacing the previous 1921 Constitution which had established Liechtenstein as a constitutional monarchy headed by the reigning prince of the princely House of Liechtenstein. A parliamentary system had been established, although the reigning prince retained substantial political authority. The reigning prince is the head of state and represents Liechtenstein in its international relations although Switzerland has taken responsibility for much of Liechtenstein's diplomatic relations. The prince may veto laws adopted by parliament. The prince can call referenda, propose new legislation, and dissolve parliament, although dissolution of parliament may be subject to a referendum, executive authority is vested in a collegiate government comprising the head of government prime minister and four government councillors ministers. The head of government and the other ministers are appointed by the prince upon the proposal and concurrence of parliament, thus reflecting the partisan balance of parliament. 
The constitution stipulates that at least two members of the government be chosen from each of the two regions. The members of the government are collectively and individually responsible to Parliament. Parliament may ask the Prince to remove an individual minister or the entire government. Legislative authority is vested in the unicameral Landtag made up of 25 members elected for maximum four year terms according to a proportional representation formula. Fifteen members are elected from the Oberland upper country or region and ten members are elected from the Unterland lower country or region. Parties must receive at least 8% of the national vote to win seats in Parliament, i.e. enough for two seats in the 25-seat legislature. Parliament proposes and approves a government, which is formally appointed by the Prince. Parliament may also pass votes of no confidence in the entire government or individual members. Parliament elects from among its members a «Landesausschuss» national committee made up of the President of the Parliament and four additional members. The National Committee is charged with performing parliamentary oversight functions. Parliament can call for referenda on proposed legislation. Parliament shares the authority to propose new legislation with the Prince and with the number of citizens required for an initiative referendum. Judicial authority is vested in the Regional Court at Vaduz, the Princely High Court of Appeal at Vaduz, the Princely Supreme Court, the Administrative Court, and the State Court. The state court rules on the conformity of laws with the constitution and has five members elected by parliament. On 1 July 1984, Liechtenstein became the last country in Europe to grant women the right to vote. The referendum on women's suffrage, in which only men were allowed to participate, passed with 51.3% in favour. New constitution In a national referendum in March 2003, nearly two-thirds of the electorate voted in support of Hans Adam II's proposed new constitution to replace the 1921 version. The proposed constitution was criticized by many, including the Council of Europe, as expanding the powers of the monarchy continuing the power to veto any law, and allowing the prince to dismiss the government or any minister. The prince threatened that if the constitution failed, he would, among other things, convert some of the royal property for commercial use and move to Austria. The princely family and the prince enjoy tremendous public support inside the nation, and the resolution passed with about 64% in favor. A proposal to revoke the prince's veto powers was rejected by 76% of voters in a 2012 referendum. Few national constitutions provide a right of secession, but municipalities in Liechtenstein are entitled to secede from the union by majority vote. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International awards. In 2013, Liechtenstein won for the first time a Solar Superstate Prize in the category Solar recognizing the achieved level of the usage of photovoltaics per population within the state territory. The Solar Superstate Association justified this prize with the cumulative installed photovoltaic power of some 290 watt per capita at the end of 2012. This level placed Liechtenstein second in the world after Germany. Also in 2014, the Solar Superstate Association awarded the second place Solar Superstate Prize in the category Solar to Liechtenstein. In the years 2015 and 2016, Liechtenstein was honored with the first place Solar Superstate Prize in the category Solar because the state had the world's biggest cumulative installed photovoltaic power per population. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Liechtenstein is situated in the Upper Rhine Valley of the European Alps and is bordered to the east by Austria, and to the south and west by Switzerland. The entire western border of Liechtenstein is formed by the Rhine. Measured south to north the country is about 24 kilometers 15 miles long. Its highest point, the Grauspitz, is 2,599 meters 8 Despite its alpine location, prevailing southerly winds make the climate of Liechtenstein comparatively mild. In winter, the mountain slopes are well suited to winter sports. New surveys using more accurate measurements of the country's borders in 2006 have set its area at 160 square kilometers, 61.776 square miles, with borders of 77.9 kilometers, 48.4 miles. 
Thus, it was discovered in 2006 that Liechtenstein's borders are 1.9 kilometers, 1.2 miles longer than previously thought. Liechtenstein is one of only two doubly landlocked countries in the world, being a landlocked country wholly surrounded by other landlocked countries. The other is Uzbekistan. Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest independent nation in the world by land area. The Principality of Liechtenstein is divided into 11 communes called Gemeinden, singular Gemeinde. The Gemeinden mostly consist of only a single town or village. Five of them Eschen, Gamprin, Morin, Ruggel, and Schellenberg fall within the electoral district Unterland the lower county, and the remainder Balzers, Planken, Schaan, Treason, Treasenberg, and Vaduz within Oberland the upper county. Economy <inaudible> <inaudible> Despite its limited natural resources, Liechtenstein is one of the few countries in the world with more registered companies than citizens. It has developed a prosperous, highly industrialized free enterprise economy and boasts a financial service sector as well as a living standard that compares favorably with those of the urban areas of Liechtenstein's much larger European neighbors. Liechtenstein participates in a customs union with Switzerland and employs the Swiss franc as the national currency. The country imports about 85% of its energy. Liechtenstein has been a member of the European Economic Area an organization serving as a bridge between the European Free Trade Association and the European Union since May 1995. The government is working to harmonize its economic policies with those of an integrated Europe. In 2008, the unemployment rate stood at 1.5%. Currently, there is only one hospital in Liechtenstein, the Liechtensteinisches Landespital in Vaduz. As of 2014 the CIA World Factbook estimated the gross domestic product GDP on a purchasing power parity basis to be $4.978 billion. As of 2009 the estimate per capita was $139,100, which is the highest listed for the world. Industries include electronics, textiles, precision instruments, metal manufacturing, power tools, anchor bolts, calculators, pharmaceuticals, and food products. Its most recognizable international company and largest employer is Hilti, a manufacturer of direct fastening systems and other high-end power tools. Many cultivated fields and small farms are found both in the south Oberland, upper land, and north Unterland, lower land. Liechtenstein produces wheat, barley, corn, potatoes, dairy products, livestock, and wine. Tourism accounts for a large portion of the country's economy. Topic taxation The government of Liechtenstein taxes personal, business income, and principal wealth. The basic rate of personal income tax is 1.2%. When combined with the additional income tax imposed by the communes, the combined income tax rate is 17.82%. An additional income tax of 4.3% is levied on all employees under the country's social security program. This rate is higher for the self-employed, up to a maximum of 11%, making the maximum income tax rate about 29% in total. The basic tax rate on wealth is 0.06% per annum, and the combined total rate is 0.89%. The tax rate on corporate profits is 12.5%. Liechtenstein's gift and estate taxes vary depending on the relationship the recipient has to the giver and the amount of the inheritance. The tax ranges between 0.5% and 0.75% for spouses and children and 18% to 27% for non-related recipients. The estate tax is progressive. Liechtenstein has previously received significant revenues from Siftungen foundations, which are financial entities created to hide the true owner of non-resident foreigners' financial holdings. The foundation is registered in the name of a Liechtensteiner, often a lawyer. This set of laws used to make Liechtenstein a popular tax haven for extremely wealthy individuals and businesses attempting to avoid or evade taxes in their home countries. In recent years, Liechtenstein has displayed a stronger determination to prosecute international money launderers and has worked to promote the country's image as a legitimate finance center. In February 2008, the country's LGT Bank was implicated in a tax fraud scandal in Germany, which strained the ruling family's relationship with the German government. Crown Prince Alois has accused the German government of trafficking in stolen goods, referring to its $7.3 million purchase of private banking information offered by a former employee of LGT Group. 
However, the United States Senate Subcommittee on Tax Haven Banks said that the LGT Bank, owned by the Princely family, and on whose board they serve, is a willing partner, and an aider and abettor to clients trying to evade taxes, dodge creditors, or defy court orders. The 2008 Liechtenstein tax affair is a series of tax investigations in numerous countries whose governments suspect that some of their citizens have evaded tax obligations by using banks and trusts in Liechtenstein. The affair broke open with the biggest complex of investigations ever initiated for tax evasion in the Federal Republic of Germany. It was also seen as an attempt to put pressure on Liechtenstein, then one of the remaining uncooperative tax havens, along with Andorra and Monaco, as identified by the Paris-based Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in 2007. On 27 May 2009, the OECD removed Liechtenstein from the blacklist of uncooperative countries. In August 2009, the British government department HM Revenue and Customs agreed with Liechtenstein to start exchanging information. It is believed that up to 5,000 British investors have roughly £3 billion deposited in accounts and trusts in the country. In October 2015, the European Union and Liechtenstein signed a tax agreement to ensure the automatic exchange of financial information in case of tax disputes. The collection of data started in 2016, and is another step to bring the principality in line with other European countries with regard to its taxation of private individuals and corporate assets. Demographics Population-wise, Liechtenstein is the fourth smallest country of Europe, only Vatican City, San Marino, and Monaco have fewer residents. Its population is primarily Alemannic speaking, although one-third is foreign-born, primarily German speakers from Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, along with other Swiss, Italians, and Turks. Foreign born people make up two thirds of the country's workforce. Liechtensteiners have an average life expectancy at birth of 80.31 years, subdividing as male, 76.86 years, female, 83.77 years. 2011 est. The infant mortality rate is 4.64 deaths per 1,000 live births, according to recent estimates. <laughs> <laughs> Languages The official language is German, most speak an Alemannic dialect of German that is highly divergent from Standard German but closely related to those dialects spoken in neighboring regions such as Switzerland and Vorarlberg, Austria. In Triesenberg, a Walser German dialect promoted by the municipality is spoken. However, Swiss Standard German is understood and spoken by most people within the country. Topic religion According to the Constitution of Liechtenstein, Catholicism is the official state religion of Liechtenstein, the Catholic Church is the state church and as such shall enjoy the full protection of the state Liechtenstein offers protection to adherents of all religious beliefs, and considers the religious interests of the people a priority of the government. In Liechtenstein schools, although exceptions are allowed, religious education in Roman Catholicism or Protestantism either Reformed or Lutheran, or both is legally required. Tax exemption is granted by the government to religious organizations. According to the Pew Research Center, social conflict caused by religious hostilities is ranked low in Liechtenstein, and so is the amount of government restriction on the practice of religion. According to the 2010 census, 85.8% of the total population is Christian, of whom 75.9% adhere to the Roman Catholic faith, forming the exempt Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Vaduz, while 9.6% are either Protestant, mainly organized in the Evangelical Church in Liechtenstein, a united church, Lutheran. Lutheran and Reformed and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Liechtenstein, or Orthodox, mainly organized in the Christian Orthodox Church. The largest minority religion is Islam 5.4% of the total population. <laughs> <laughs> Education The literacy rate of Liechtenstein is 100%. In 2006 Programme for International Student Assessment Report, coordinated by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, ranked Liechtenstein's education as the tenth best in the world. In 2012, Liechtenstein had the highest PISA scores of any European country. Within Liechtenstein, there are four main centers for higher education University of Liechtenstein, Private University in the Principality of Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein Institute. 
International Academy of Philosophy, Liechtenstein. There are nine public high schools in the country. These include Liechtensteinisches Gymnasium in Vaduz, Realschule Vaduz and Oberschule Vaduz, in the Schultzentrum Mulliholz II in Vaduz, Realschule Schaan and Sportschule Liechtenstein in Schaan. Transport There are about 250 kilometers 155 miles of paved roadway within Liechtenstein with 90 kilometers 56 miles of marked bicycle paths A 9.5 kilometers 5.9 miles railway connects Austria and Switzerland through Liechtenstein The country's railways are administered by the Austrian Federal Railways as part of the route between Feldkirch Austria and Bucks Switzerland Liechtenstein is nominally within the Austrian Verkehrsverbund Vorarlberg Tariff region. There are four railway stations in Liechtenstein, namely Schaan Vaduz, Forst Hilti, and Mendeln and Schaanwald, served by an irregularly stopping train service between Feldkirch and Bucks provided by Austrian Federal Railways. While Eurocity and other long distance international trains also travel along the route, they do not normally call at the stations within the borders of Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein Bus is a subsidiary of the Swiss Postbus system, but separately run, and connects to the Swiss bus network at Bucks and at Sargans. Buses also run to the Austrian town of Feldkirch. Liechtenstein has no airport. The nearest large airport is Zurich Airport near Zurich, Switzerland 130 km, 80 miles by road. The nearest small airport is St. Gallen Airport 50 km, 30 miles. Friedrichshafen Airport also provides access to Liechtenstein, as it is 85 km away. Balzers Heliport is available for chartered helicopter flights. Culture As a result of its small size, Liechtenstein has been strongly affected by external cultural influences, most notably those originating in the southern German-speaking areas of Europe, including Austria, Baden-Württemberg, Bavaria, Switzerland, and specifically Tyrol and Vorarlberg. The «Historical Society of the Principality of Liechtenstein» plays a role in preserving the culture and history of the country. The largest museum is the Kunstmuseum Liechtenstein, an international museum of modern and contemporary art with an important international art collection. The building by the Swiss architects Morger, Digello, and Caras is a landmark in Vaduz. It was completed in November 2000 and forms a black box of tinted concrete and black basalt stone. The museum collection is also the national art collection of Liechtenstein. The other important museum is the Liechtenstein National Museum Liechtensteinisches Landesmuseum showing permanent exhibition on the cultural and natural history of Liechtenstein as well as special exhibitions. There is also a stamp museum, ski museum, and a 500-year-old rural lifestyle museum. The Liechtenstein State Library is the library that has legal deposit for all books published in the country. The most famous historical sites are Vaduz Castle, Gutenberg Castle, the Red House and the ruins of Schellenberg. The private art collection of the Prince of Liechtenstein, one of the world's leading private art collections, is shown at the Liechtenstein Museum in Vienna. On the country's national holiday all subjects are invited to the castle of the head of state. A significant portion of the population attends the national celebration at the castle where speeches are made and complimentary beer is served. Music and theatre are an important part of the culture. There are numerous music organizations such as the Liechtenstein Musical Company, the Annual Guitar Days, and the International Joseph Gabriel Reinberger Society, which play in two main theatres. Media The primary Internet service provider and mobile network operator of Liechtenstein is Telecom Liechtenstein, located in Schaan. There is only one television channel in the country, the private channel 1FL-TV created in 2008. At the moment, 1FL-TV is not a member of the European Broadcasting Union. L Radio, which was established in 2004, serves as Liechtenstein's radio station and is based in Treason. L Radio has a listener base of 50,000 and began as Air Radio Liechtenstein on 15 October 1938. Liechtenstein also has two major newspapers, Liechtensteiner Volksblatt and Liechtensteiner Vaterland. 
The primary multimedia company in Liechtenstein is Manimedia, located in Vaduz. Amateur radio is a hobby of some nationals and visitors. However, unlike virtually every other sovereign nation, Liechtenstein does not have its own ITU prefix. It uses Switzerland's callsign prefixes, typically HB, followed by a zero. Topic: Sports. Liechtenstein football teams play in the Swiss football leagues. The Liechtenstein Football Cup allows access for one Liechtenstein team each year to the UEFA Europa League, FC Vaduz, a team playing in the Swiss Challenge League. The second division in Swiss football is the most successful team in the cup and scored their greatest success in the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1996 when they drew with and defeated the Latvian team FC Universitate Riga by 1-1 and 4-2 to go on to a lucrative fixture against Paris Saint-Germain FC, which they lost 0-3 and 0-4. The Liechtenstein national football team is regarded as an easy target for any team drawn against them. This was the basis for a book about Liechtenstein's unsuccessful qualifying campaign for the 2002 World Cup by British author, Charlie Connolly. In one surprising week during autumn 2004, however, the team managed a 2-2 draw with Portugal, who only a few months earlier had been the losing finalists in the European Championships. Four days later, the Liechtenstein team travelled to Luxembourg, where they defeated the home team 4-0 in a 2006 World Cup qualifying match. In the qualification stage of the European Championship 2008, Liechtenstein beat Latvia 1-0, a result which prompted the resignation of the Latvian coach. They went on to beat Iceland 3-0 on 17 October 2007, which is considered one of the most dramatic losses of the Icelandic national football team. On 7 September 2010, they came within seconds of a 1-1 draw against Scotland in Glasgow, having led 1-0 earlier in the second half, but Liechtenstein lost 2-1 thanks to a goal by Stephen McManus in the 97th minute. On 3 June 2011, Liechtenstein defeated Lithuania 2-0. On 15 November 2014, Liechtenstein defeated Moldova 0-1 with Franz Bergmier's late free kick goal in Chisinau. As an alpine country, the main sporting opportunity for Liechtensteiners to excel is in winter sports such as downhill skiing. The country's single ski area is Malbin. Hanny Wenzel won two gold medals and one silver medal in the 1980 Winter Olympics. She won bronze in 1976. Her brother Andreas won one silver medal in 1980 and one bronze medal in 1984 in the giant slalom event, and her daughter Tina Weirather won a bronze medal in 2018 in the Super G. With 10 medals overall, all in alpine skiing, Liechtenstein has won more Olympic medals per capita than any other nation. It is the smallest nation to win a medal in any Olympics, winter or summer, and the only nation to win a medal in the Winter Games but not in the Summer Games. Other notable skiers from Liechtenstein are Marco Buchel, Willy Frommelt, Paul Frommelt and Ursula Konzett. Liechtenstein is also the home country of Stephanie Vogt, a professional women's tennis player. Topic. Youth Liechtenstein competes in the Switzerland U16 Cup tournament, which offers young players an opportunity to play against top football clubs. Topic. Security and defence The Liechtenstein National Police is responsible for keeping order within the country. It consists of 87 field officers and 38 civilian staff, totaling 125 employees. All officers are equipped with small arms. The country has one of the world's lowest crime rates. Liechtenstein's prison holds few, if any, inmates, and those with sentences over two years are transferred to Austrian jurisdiction. The Liechtenstein National Police maintains a trilateral treaty with Austria and Switzerland that enables close cross border cooperation among the police forces of the three countries. Liechtenstein follows a policy of neutrality and is one of the few countries in the world that maintain no military. The army was abolished soon after the Austro Prussian War of 1866, in which Liechtenstein fielded an army of 80 men, although they were not involved in any fighting. The demise of the German Confederation in that war freed Liechtenstein from its international obligation to maintain an army, and Parliament seized this opportunity and refused to provide funding for one. 
The prince objected, as such a move would leave the country defenseless, but relented on 12 February 1868 and disbanded the force. The last soldier to serve under the colors of Liechtenstein died in 1939 at age 95. During the 1980s, the Swiss Army fired off shells during an exercise and mistakenly burned a patch of forest inside Liechtenstein. The incident was said to have been resolved over a case of white wine. In March 2007, a 170-person Swiss infantry unit got lost during a training exercise and inadvertently crossed 1.5 kilometers (0.9 miles) into Liechtenstein. The accidental invasion ended when the unit realized their mistake and turned back. The Swiss army later informed Liechtenstein of the incursion and offered official apologies, to which an internal ministry spokesperson responded, No problem, these things happen. See also Outline of Liechtenstein